To the people who are transphobic because God made us this way and we can't change his work, fuck you. To the people who are transphobic because they think it's unnatural, fuck you. And to the people who are transphobic because they think it's perverted, gross, or ugly, again I say, fuck you. Because when another parent is yelling at their child in the supermarket or there are signs of physical abuse, it's none of your business. But the minute a boy wears a skirt, you make it your problem. And I'm not even talking about surgery or hormones. I'm talking about wearing a skirt instead of pants because there's more room to breathe. But you're going to raise a fit about how back in Mississippi you didn't have these kinds of folks. You was in church on Sundays preaching the word of the Lord. And if you had some holy water, you would spring it all on this child's transgender ass. Hallelujah, Christ in heaven. Amen. Listen here. <laughs> I don't believe in God, but if there is one, I hope he blesses you with all kinds of confused children trying to change their bodies. Because no, ch no God is vile enough to trap someone in a version of themselves that they don't want to worship. And even if he is, your God is also all forgiving. So don't use him as an excuse for your hatred. And when transphobia shoots bullets into a child's self-esteem, does it become your business when the child buys a gun? When he pulls the trigger against his throat? Or is it just your business when a man with a vagina makes you uncomfortable? There is nothing unnatural about them trying to find themselves. And if that means changing their gender, then they should do it. If that means shopping in a different clothing aisle, they should buy it. If that means he is actually a she, then they should rename it. If your son one day becomes your daughter, then you should accept it. Don't tell me you are going to love her any less. If you only loved her for her penis, you don't deserve to have children anyway. <laughs> and neither does the parent yelling at their child in the supermarket, so make abuse your business. And make violence your business. Speak up for those who have lost their voice and stop worrying about whether or not she is a he. You changed your college major seven times. I think at least one sex change is allowed in this lifetime. So grow a pair of boobs or balls or both. I don't care. And fuck off. Woo!